Welcome to How To. Window farms are hydroponic systems for growing plants inside apartments. They were first developed by two artists named Britta Riley and Rebecca Bray to help people grow food in small New York apartments. We are going to build the easiest version of their window farms. It's a simple three-part airlift system that runs with an air pump. This is what my room looks like. I like plants. And I like to build things. So I'm going to install one in my room. This is what it looks like now that it's finished. It's now sitting in my windowsill. You will need the manual. Three one and a half liter eco shade pull and spring bottles. One five gallon eco shade bottle. String, spray paint, sharpies, inflating needles, scrap paper, a pole, and the airlift tubing, which is three eighths of an inch on the outside, being four feet and six inches long. Cocoa core, three three inch net cups, an X Acto knife, plumber's tape, and an air pump. The pump should include two pump adapters that have an outside diameter of one fourth of an inch and two air valves. You'll need seeds too, of course. Once you have everything you need, group it together and start prepping. Take the cocoa core and cover it in water so that it hydrates and expands. Take the labels off your bottles and with the spray paint go up to your roof and take a break. Make sure that you apply a thick layer of paint or your plants will grow leaves on their roots. Once you let the bottles dry, you can go back downstairs and keep going. Now use the cap of a one and a half liter bottle and trace it on the bottom of each bottle with your Sharpie. Use your X-Acto knife to carefully cut the circles out. Cut out the stencil that's on the last page of the manual. Trace it out on the bottom half of each bottle and then cut out the ovals with your knife. Don't go too far up the bottle or your net pots will sit too far up. The plants will be hanging out of this oval. Next, grab the 5 gallon container and use its bottle cap to trace out a hole right next to the pouring hole. Cut it out a bit larger so that the airlift goes in easily. Now you're going to tie the bottles to the pole. Fit each bottle on the bottom of the next one, aligning them to your pole and tying them up to it. I'm using a surgeon's knot, which is just like a simple square knot. Feel free to look it up. Make sure you pull the knots tight so the bottles don't slide down. Line up the bottles and then cut out the extra string so your lift looks pretty. Your basic structure is now ready and it's time to start working on the hard part. Grab two inflation needles and cut out two two-inch sections of the airlift tubing. Wrap a shitload of plumber's tape on the twirlies of the inflation needles. And then stuff them into the sections of the airlift tubing. Also wrap tape on the ends of the two pump adapters and stuff those into the short sections. These are the basic components for pushing the water up your tube. On the end of the other airlift tubing, two and a half inches up from the bottom, use a pokey to make two holes on opposing sides. Stick the needles into the airlift tube. Watch me put plumber's tape on the other needle and connect that part to its pump adapter. Make sure you cut the end of the airlift tubing on a diagonal and then pull it into the structure alongside the pole. Make sure it's flush to the pole and turn the top part of the tube into the top bottle. Turn the needles so they face upwards and attach those to the pole as well. Put the other ends of the pump adapters onto the pump. 
with the air valves in between so that everything is connected. So once that is perfectly airtight, you can start testing your system. Place the pole and tubing system in through the hole you made on the five gallon bottle. Make a loop on the pump adapters and fix the bottom bottle into the top hole of the reservoir. Make sure there are no bubbles coming out when you turn the pump on, like here. Test it again and again, adding more plumber's tape and filling up the reservoir until it's completely airtight. Once that's done, you can put the hydrated cocoa core into the neck cups. Make sure to drain them so excess dirt comes out and place the neck cups into the bottles. Cut the top tube so that it fits right into the top neck cup. Now place the seeds in. Tweak the strength of the pump and watch your system run. Within a couple of weeks, you should have beautiful plants. You'll need some nutrients and pH control, which you can research on your own. Enjoy.